Today we will learn how to name molecular compounds in three easy steps. The first example we're going to work with is N2O3. Step number one tells us to write down the name of the first element. So N is nitrogen. Let's write down nitrogen. Step number two tells us to write down the name of the second element, but change the ending to IDE. We have oxygen, so let's change that to oxide. Now, step number three tells us to write down the prefix to indicate the number of each type of atom. Now, let's look at the subscripts. For nitrogen, we have two. And this subscript tells us that there are two nitrogens. And two means di. So let's include that. Let's add that in front of the name. So di nitrogen. We have two nitrogens. Now, oxygen has a subscript of three. Three is tri. There are three oxygens. Let's add try in front of oxide. So the name for N2O3 is dinitrogen trioxide. Let's do another example. Let's write down the name of the first element. So first element is sulfur. Let's write down the name of the second element, but change the ending to I, D, E. So chloride. Sulfur has a subscript of two. Two means di, meaning there are two sulfurs present. So let's add di in front of sulfur. Chlorine also has two. And we know two means di. Let's add di in front of chlorine. So the name is disulfur dichloride. When we look at this name, disulfur dichloride, we see the first thing is the prefix di. And then we have the name of the first element. Then we have the prefix of the second element. Then we have the name of the second element with the ending changed to I, D, E. So you can also use this little formula to write down the names. Okay, let's do another example. Let's write, let's write down the name of the first element, which is carbon. Let's write down the name of the second element, which is oxygen. Let's change the ending to I, D, E. So we have oxide. Now let's look at the subscripts. Carbon has no subscript, meaning that there's only one carbon because one is always invisible. Now, there's an exception here. Whenever there's only one of the first element present, we never use the prefix. There's one carbon, meaning the prefix should be one, mono. But we never write mono as a prefix for the first element. Never. So we're just going to leave this as carbon. If we just write carbon, this just means we assume that there's only one carbon. Okay, let's look at the subscript of oxygen. It's two. Two means di. So let's add di in front of oxygen. Now this is a complete name. Carbon dioxide. We never put mono for the first element. These are some practice questions that you can work on. So go ahead and fill this table below and the answers are in the description. If you have any questions or you're confused about something, write it down in the comment section below and I will be happy to help you. Thank you for watching.